Hi, my name is Preetika Rao. I'm a model and actor from Mumbai, India. And today I have with me Dr. Rickson Pereira, who is MD in Dermatology. And we are going to specifically talk about blackheads and whiteheads, the causes and treatments. So stay tuned. So Dr. Blackheads and Whiteheads are a very, very common problem and I have noticed that people have blackheads that can be ingrained in their skin, especially on their nose, for years together, as long as 8 to 10 years sometimes. And so, some people find it very difficult to get it treated and there are two very common things, especially in India, is that when you, when you go to a salon, say maybe for a haircut, there are therapists out there who convince you to go in for a salon cleanup, which includes taking steam. And I feel that it's an absolutely wrong thing to do because steam, you know, is like giving your face and your skin unusual amount of heat and it enlarges your pores because it's opening up your pores, even opening up those pores which are closed. So in my opinion, I really wouldn't think that steam is good for skin. Am I right when I say that? I will agree with you. Okay. So uh, the thing is, uh, blackheads and whiteheads are collections of dead skin. Okay, mm -hmm. it's dead skin cells which are stuck together and which plug the opening of the oil gland. Mm -hmm. And the body is always trying to eliminate them. Right. Okay. So if uh, the black, if the whitehead has an opening, uh, it will come to the surface as a blackhead. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't have an opening, it will form a pimple. Mm -hmm. So ultimately the body is trying to get rid of it. Okay. Now when we treat acne uh, and if we see very visible blackheads and whiteheads, mm -hmm. we do treat them uh, and we try and uh, extract them out mm -hmm. to facilitate the body's expulsion process. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so we assist the body in removing these or else they can convert into inflamed or red pimples. Okay. okay. So, but there is a way to do it. Uh, mm -hmm. There are specific devices that are available, mm -hmm. uh, which have to be used very gently yeah. in order to minimize. Uh, we want to get the blackhead and the whitehead out in its entirety and not have any bits or remnants in the skin. Okay. So, otherwise they can also trigger an uh, inflammation. Okay, but, but in a salon, I have noticed that uh, they first give you steam and then they use these pointy objects to dig into your pores Correct. and eventually they end up giving you even more enlarged pores because although they you know follow it up with uh, a face pack and an icing all over your nose and your face it really doesn't help because the damage is already done so uh, would you say that dermatologists uh, follow the same procedure uh, but uh, in a more uh, better and an organized yeah. way? So there is no need to use steam. So what we do is we give anti-acne gels and creams which mm -hmm. soften the blackheads and whiteheads mm -hmm. and then we gently extract them. Okay. In fact, like you rightly said, uh, when we give steam, we heat the skin yeah. and the steam also overhydrates the skin. So it actually closes your pores oh. instead of opening them up. Uh, it clogs, it overhydrates the skin and clogs the opening of the oil gland. So it can actually worsen the acne later. Okay. And then you're closing something and then you're trying to squeeze something out of it. And okay. uh, you know, at the uh, salon, they may not be using the right uh, devices or necessarily the right technique. Right. So, and it's not that you have to go after every pore on the skin. If you squeeze every pore on your skin, some pasty material will come out which is absolutely normal, it does not need to be cleaned. Okay. So in a clinic we will only go after blackheads and whiteheads and we will not treat every single pore on your face. Okay. We will only go after the ones that do not come uh, out naturally with creams. Uh, so those are the only ones we will treat. So it's very selective, there's a, a way to do it and that's that results in minimal damage okay. and uh, minimal flaring up of the acne after treatment. Okay. I've also noticed that um, especially during winters when your, uh, you know, your entire face and your uh, skin cells, they dry and they naturally peel. That's actually the right time when blackheads also automatically peel off. Right. So would I be right in saying that using certain uh, creams which can dry your skin uh, can be an alternative for, uh, you know, you know, getting for a clean up or, yeah. job done? 
So uh, what we uh, use in the treatment of acne are creams from the vitamin A family, okay? okay. And what they do is they gently speed up the uh, the cell renewal process. And mm -hmm. what actually looks as dryness is actually just skin cells growing fast and peeling away fast. Okay. And then they sort of stimulate the blackheads and whiteheads to move to the surface and where they are expelled. Okay. So the uh, vitamin A containing creams or retinoids or retinol, mm -hmm. uh, retinoids actually, they, they actually help speed up the expulsion of blackheads and whiteheads right and uh, this is the best way and the ones that are really stubborn which do not come out with the creams those are the only ones we uh, typically after uh, three to four weeks of starting the cream mm -hmm. the ones that are stubborn uh, those we will uh, sort of extract mm -hmm. extraction is not something that uh, we should do uh, it's part of a medical treatment it should not be done alone mm -hmm. uh, by itself and mm -hmm. another thing uh, that you mentioned like people having black dots for years yeah. Uh, a lot of the times it's just tiny hair on the nose. Yes. So people try and attempt and remove it and they damage the nose skin but it doesn't come off. It's because it's hair, it's not a blackhead. Yeah. So the right treatment for that would be to do laser hair removal. Okay. Uh, that actually helps uh, those uh, black spots go away. Does laser also treat uh, blackheads? No, but there are certain lasers which we use in the treatment of acne scars which can reduce the formation of blackheads and whiteheads. Okay. But preformed ones do not, uh, a laser cannot treat them. You have to uh, okay. use creams and probably extract them later. So, can laser peels help in peeling off the... Yes. So, uh, peels involves the use of certain uh, mild fruit acids uh, okay. to treat the skin in which okay. They peel off the dead skin layers mm -hmm. uh, and when we use it in the treatment of acne, uh, we use certain uh, ingredients such as salicylic acid, mandelic acid which penetrate down the pore of the oil gland, uh, okay. uh, clear out the dead skin cells which are expelled out of the skin over the next few days. Mm -hmm. So they help uh, reduce the formation of new blackheads and whiteheads, mm -hmm. they help the skin expel any existing blackheads and whiteheads okay. and overall uh, the skin uh, looks a lot better and the acne sort of heals okay so that's so that's i'm right when i say that go for uh, you know creams that peel your skin or laser that peels your skin or peels in general yes. but do not opt for uh, uh, for a clean up as your first resort am i am yes. i right yes so, uh, controlled peeling is what I would say uh, okay. because uh, a lot of people tend to get very enthusiastic about peeling and scrubbing their skin to the point where they damage it. Yes. So, uh, there is a way to use uh, and a frequency to use the creams. So, definitely uh, that would be a good way to start. Right. And uh, of course, if your doctor recommends a, a treatment uh, to go in for blackhead and whitehead extraction or a peel, do not uh, uh, do these things at home yeah. uh, because you may end up causing more damage than you would want. Nose strips, you know, are yes. very commonly used. And now in my experience, uh, when I used a nose strip when I was like a teenager, it gave me um, a lot of these little, little, you know, like uh, enlarged pores, uh, right. you can say. So I, and it took me time, you know, it took a lot of time for the the whole, uh, you know, rebuilding of skin cells and uh, to uh, for things to get back to normal. So would you recommend a nose strip or would you not? So nose pore strips are actually quite useful uh, mm -hmm. in extraction of blackheads uh, and whiteheads. Right. So, uh, but they should be used less often, like I would say once in three to four weeks. Okay. And they should be combined uh, with an, uh, like a retinoid cream from the vitamin A family. Okay. So you uh, treat your skin with retinoids for a few weeks, okay. uh, give a few days break, at least a five day to seven day break. Mm -hmm. Uh, treat the nose with the nose pore strip and that also has to be done very gently because the nose pore strip has a very strong adhesive. Adhesive, so it, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So it has to be peeled off very gently. Mm -hmm. uh, it should not be done uh, in haste. Once you uh, do the procedure, you have to moisturize your skin okay. and restart your uh, retinoid cream a few days later. Okay. That minimizes the chances of any irritation. Okay. And uh, it basically helps the whole process of, uh, uh, you know, uh, cleaning out uh, of the pores. So mm -hmm. they are useful, but they should be used less often. This is not something that you must do uh, multiple times in a week or multiple times in a month. Yeah. I would say once in three to four weeks is good enough. Would it be right to say that uh, like a nose strip can be followed up with um, icing maybe? I think yes, you can do something to clean, uh, to cool the skin mm -hmm. and uh, that could it could just be uh, room temperature water or even cold water or okay. even ice. 
so guys please take notes and please do not go to a salon and get you know you, you know your skin and mistreated i could say and uh, please do not go for steam in fact i am somebody who even avoids steam during you know the covid times when you're supposed to inhale steam i would seriously avoid that too because i think steam does damage so um go to a good dermatologist and do not ever take uh, wrong steps or just get into these quick fixes and home remedies and please it's your skin so you have to be careful and thank you so much thank you